In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send a notification from your phone to an ESP32 using Bluetooth, then display that on an OLED screen. Hi everyone. In a previous video, I had where I showed you how you can send a notification from the ESP32 to your phone. However, one of my viewers requested to do the opposite, so this video is exactly that. We're going to send a notification from a phone to the ESP32, then we are displaying that on the OLED. So these are the components we have. We have an OLED screen. Obviously, if you don't have one, you can still use a serial monitor to show the notification or use an LED if you want, but an OLED will make it more visible. And we have our ESP32. And here is our power cable and then you need an android phone or an iphone both will work to connect with a bluetooth that way you can communicate with the esp32 and send the notification now let me show you how this works i am using an android phone and here is an app that is for free that can communicate with the esp32 over bluetooth it is called nrf connect obviously you can develop your own app for example, let's say if you have a Samsung smartwatch, you know there is a Samsung app for that to communicate with the watch. You get the idea. Same for the Apple Watch or the uh, Google Watch. You get the idea here. But this is a free app that will allow us to communicate with our ESP32 via Bluetooth. Let's open that. And you can do the same if you have an iPhone, by the way. Here under the scanner section, if we refresh, you can see there are multiple devices. These are devices that have Bluetooth or the app can see them. But here's the first one, our ESP32 notifier. This is what I named it. So we're going to click connect over here. And that's going to connect to our uh, Bluetooth uh, or our ESP32 over Bluetooth. You can see here, this is the UUID and that is the key. I will show you how you can generate this key and add it to the code. So when we go over the code, we will talk about that in a minute. I'm going to click here, and then you see this arrow. We're going to press that, and here we're going to change it to text since I'm going to send a text to my board. I'm going to type something here. So you can type anything you want, and then we're going to click send. Before I click send, I want to show you my OLED screen right there. So hopefully we can focus on that. And now I'm going to click the send button and you can see the text is now displayed over here. Here is the wiring for the OLED real quick. You have ground, which is the ground pin DCC. This is the five volt. You have SCL and SDA. These are pin 21 and 22. I will leave them in the code and in the description. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the code. The last thing here is to look at the code real quick. So let's do that. Uh, right here we have the libraries, the Bluetooth and the OLED display. Um, so this is the section here. If you're going to display this on a serial monitor, you can skip some of these, of course. Um, here is the OLED display wiring. I have it listed here in the comments for you. And down here is the screen uh, settings, the width and size. So adjust those as needed. This is the UUIDs. And those are just like the address for your Bluetooth device. Each Bluetooth device has its own unique address. For testing purposes, and if you're just curious and you want to try this out, this really doesn't matter. You can probably use my address that I put in here or you can generate a new one from this website. It's a free website, it's UUID generator, and it will give you a unique one. Make sure you generate twice. So you're gonna copy and paste the first one, and then refresh, and then get the second one in there. For any like real production product, make sure you get a unique UUID. Now, uh, this is the class, which is the callback. And the way it runs is like it creates a Bluetooth server. It listens to the event. So there is an on write function that listens to the event and it automatically passes it through. So you don't have to actually call the function. That is the beautiful 
uh, part about this. You see here, this is the on write function and it automatically like an event listener. Down here, we're listening to that message that comes from the phone and then we're displaying it on the OLED. Again, if you're doing a serial monitor, you have to change this, you get the idea. So down here is our setup and we still have our serial monitor just in case we wanna use it for troubleshooting. Here is the initialization for the OLED. And again, you can skip that if you are not using an OLED. So the rest of it is just to set up the OLED and here is the initial message waiting for your phone. Uh, and then this is the name of the device, the ESP32 notifier. You can name it whatever you like, obviously. Now, uh, yeah, that's the server. That's the Bluetooth server. It's like said, it's a, like an event listener and it, it's a broadcasting to the phone and then the phone can send that message. Then the function automatically uh, calls it and passes the value. That's why we don't need anything in the loop. So you can see our loop function is almost empty. We only have a delay in here and that delay just to give the program and the SP32 time to kind of rerun the code. So you don't want to just run everything. Like you always have some sort of delay, which makes sense, just a good practice. So this is pretty much it. I will leave the link in the description as always. If you liked and if you like this video and you find it helpful, please consider like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.